Right now, the DeMoor Museum of Fine Art at Springfield's Quadrangle is hosting a really unique photographic exhibit. It's called Photo Secession, Painterly Masterworks of Turn-of-the-Century Photography, and dates back more than a century to a time when the nature of photography as an art form was really first developing. Curator Julia Courtney came in to tell us more. These photographers were working around the turn of the century, and as they mastered the technology of photography, they started to push the boundaries. So you have a batch of very creative people playing with new technology and wanting to create, um, as the title of the exhibit says, painterly images. Uh, using the lens manipulation, they could soften camera lenses, and then also actually manipulating things in the darkroom through the printing and, and paper and negative process. Well, you've been kind enough to send along <clears throat> five of the 78 images that are in the show. Yes. We'll take a quick look at them and maybe talk a little about, okay, this is a photo uh, called The Mirror yes. by a gentleman named Clarence White. And it, it really does have the feel of an old European sort of master work, doesn't it? I mean, it seems like a painting. Yes, it does. And he's sort of staged the photograph. He staged the subject near a window. She's very elegantly posed. And he's working with the light and the shadows, much like a painter would do. Here we have, Julia, the photo that I think a lot of folks think of as emblematic of pictorialism. It is called Steerage. Tell yes, us about it. and uh, Stieglitz created this image in 1907. He was actually on a ship. Um, he had booked a first class passage to Europe. And as a, a creative person might do, he's wandering the ship, he's looking for imagery, and he takes this photo of um, some of the laborers and workers that are in the steerage class, and it becomes the iconic image associated with um, Stieglitz. Let's take a look at the next uh, photo that we have. This is called, Passa here's my French, Passage <laughs> des Bouget by Felix Tollier, I believe. I think I'm close there. Yes, it's like a landscape painting. Um, again, you know, some a lot of attention given to the lighting, the the foreground, the background, and you know, in Europe they're experimenting with all of these techniques as well, and then uh, pushing the different aspects of the technology. Let me ask you about. You, you mentioned the term is called pictorialism, and and that in itself is so interesting. Picture, but clearly with pictorialism, with the sense that we've done something to this, we've changed this, we've manipulated this. Exactly, and you know, that was um, the term used for what these artists were doing with photographs. You know, they were no longer straightforward images. They were being manipulated, as I've said, to look like a painting, and, and many of them do. When you walk through our galleries, it'll be fun for visitors to see which ones they think really do look like paintings, have that same appearance. You mentioned a few minutes ago that there were different schools and really some pretty severe disagreements among professional photographers back in that time, 100 years or so ago. There was a big, big show in, I think it was Buffalo, New York. Mm -hmm. 500 artists, pictorialists, photographs. And that really got the interest going and got people, as you had said, it started in Europe to some extent, came here. That kind of interest going here and really built photography as an art form. Definitely, and that was the intention that Stieglitz has, had with his gallery and the shows that he organized. Um, he published a couple of magazines with that intention, the most successful being Camera Works. And um, these artists come together and they're showing their best attempts at this pictorialist method. And he is the one who is leading the charge. Very, mm -hmm. very clear that he wanted to put photography on the same level as fine art. So we're happy to get it here. It's a collector um, in New York that um, organized the show through Art to Art exhibit organizers. So we were able to secure it for the whole five months, which covers the summer. So that's great for our tourists. Plenty of time for folks to get there. It's called Photo Secession, Painterly Masterworks of Turn of the Century Photography. Julia Courtney, thanks for coming by. Thanks, my pleasure.